What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to do a review video on some 18650 lithium ion batteries that I was sent a while back and I've gotten really busy and had a lot of life things going on right now and this kind of got pushed to the back burner and so I apologize to, to the manufacturer, you've been patient with me and, and I appreciate you working with me. Anyway, so today I'm going to review these. Um, once again, I was sent these for free to do an objective review on them. Now these batteries, uh, this is a EBL, uh, is the name of the company. And so they sent me the batteries and a charger for them. Uh, they're very reasonably priced. And so right off you might be wondering, well, why are these batteries so cheap? Now these are button top batteries, so they are protected. Um, so you can use them directly in electronics like flashlights. So these are the, the statistics. It's a, a 3,000 milliamp hour capacity rating. Uh, and once again, it is a lithium ion uh, cell, which is 3.7 volts. Now these batteries are much more modestly rated than, than a lot of them. Some, some of these you see come out with crazy ratings like 9,000 milliamp hours or 5,500. Um, but these are much better. So, and, and they seem to be well built. Um, the charger is a typical cheap charger. It's, there's nothing special about it, uh, but it is designed specifically to work with lithium ion 18650 batteries. Um, and so you can put in a couple of these at a time and, and uh, anyway, nothing special about that. But very nice that it comes with a charger. Uh, I believe the original price when I was sent these was around $9.99. So really, really good deal compared to the East Shines, which were about $25 to $30 for two of them with no charger. I'm going to compare them to a more expensive set of batteries by East Shine, which are, is a very respectable, respectable brand, very well known, uh, kind of a known quantity to compare these to. So, and then I'm going to use uh, some equipment to test the amp hour capacity or the milliamp hour capacity of the batteries to get a more uh, baseline uh, objective number there instead of using the manufacturer ratings. And then I'm going to show you in a flashlight how they actually perform compared to each other. So we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw both of these into the charger and get them topped off. And I'm going to also make sure that the East Shine batteries are topped off so that we can do some testing and determine their capacity. Okay, so I've got the East Shine batteries on the charger. Now, obviously, this is a more expensive, more sophisticated charger. And again, we're comparing cheaper batteries, um, Chinese batteries, which they make great products. I'm not uh, saying anything derogatory toward Chinese products. We use them every day, and they're great. But sometimes, some companies, some less reputable companies, will misrate their products or take uh, shortcuts or cut corners and make a... a a cheaper, uh, poorer product. And so that's the point of this video. I know I'm using more expensive things to compare it to, but that's fine. That's, that's the point of the test. So this is the East Shine on a Nightcore charger. And there we have the EBL charger. Now the, the spring-loaded um, negative terminals on this thing were much harder to use. They're, they're a little clunky. They're not smooth. But I mean, this is kind of what we would expect for a uh, a much less expensive product, uh, but it does work. They're just a little harder to, to get in there and to use. So we'll let these go ahead and finish charging. It might be a few hours, and then we'll go ahead and use some test equipment to discharge the batteries and find out their true capacity. Okay, the East Shine ones are done. Uh, it took a couple hours for one of them. One of them finished pretty quickly. And also the EBL are finished as you can see the green light is on so we'll go ahead and take them off and connect them one at a time to the test device that I have okay so here's our test setup we have this uh, professional balance charger discharger here which is going to discharge this EBL battery and tell us the capacity of the battery and uh, I've got it connected here with a 18650 holder and then I'm going to while it's charging I'm going to put it in this uh, fire safe bag just in case you can never be too careful with these things I don't anticipate a fire by any means but um, just in case something happens uh, it is you know we are testing after all 
I will put it in that bag and that, that will minimize any uh, fire or explosion risk that we have going on here. So without further ado, I will put it on there and start the discharge process. Okay, this finally finished and it took two and a half hours to discharge. And so the verdict is we got 2,588 milliamp hours. So not quite up to the rating of 3,000 milliamp hours that it's rated for, but not as bad as some that I've seen other people test. So now I will do the same thing with one of the East Shine batteries and we'll see what we get. Okay, this one completed. Uh, final result was 3,203 milliamp hours, which is just under the, the rating of 3,500. So um, the EBL stands up pretty good because it, it uh, was off by a little bit higher of a margin, but not too bad. So in that respect, I think it's a fairly quality cell. For the last portion of this test, I'm gonna take the batteries one by one, put them in this flashlight, hold it at, hot, at head height, which is about six feet, uh, and point it down at the ground, and I'm going to use this light meter on my phone to determine the intensity of the light. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn out the lights. Now these, obviously these batteries have been re fully recharged again in their respective chargers. So let's start out with the EBL battery. I'm going to put it in the flashlight, turn out the lights, and we'll see what it does. Okay, so the maximum that I read is 11,655LX. So we will go ahead and switch the batteries and try again. Okay, now that looked a lot brighter to me and the meter says it was a lot brighter. It was 20,800LX. So substantially more light with the East Shine battery as opposed to the EBL battery. So my final thoughts in conclusion, this is a good deal. This battery, you can get two of these batteries for under $10 with a charger and it will do about 60 to 70% of what this battery can do. And you can get two of these batteries for about $30 without a charger. So for a value purchase, this is a great purchase. Is it going to compete with the best? No, but it's pretty good. And I wouldn't hesitate buying these for, you know, if you didn't need your torch or your flashlight to throw the max lumens, then you can do this one just fine. It'll last a good long while. Um, you know, we got over 2000 milliamp hours out of this. So it's not a bad battery. It just can't stack up to the Panasonic's and the LG and the Samsung cells out there. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you found this review video helpful, hit subscribe to see more content in the future.